Fish on! Squid on! Squid on. <laughs> Using a pen battle three reel. It's got 2,200 feet of line on it. 65 pound power pro. And a really weird jig I got off the internet. <laughs> Somebody want to get a net ready? On it. I got another, another 200, 300 feet more to go. You got to be quick. As soon as this thing breaks the surface, that's when they fall off. Shit, I think he's gone. Hang on. Oh no, he's still there. You still got him. Don't put it in gear. Don't put it in gear. Don't put it in gear. It's coming up. God, I hope not. I don't know, it's really heavy now. Do I got you? Here it comes, squid, 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 squid. Yeah! Squid on! Squid on! One in the boat. One in the boat. Nice! Woohoo! Don't get ink! <laughs> oh, it's all be too late. <laughs> Look at that red thing. Grab it by the mantle. Yeah. Can you take it? Yeah, you can. If you grab it by the head, they can actually uh bite oh, you. Yeah. Okay. So this is a typical jig we use, well I use, and uh, it's got three hooks on it, umbrella hooks, uh, great big glow, uh, the weight on the bottom is about a half a pound. Um, so yeah, so you just drop her down, kind of find where the school of bait is down about a thousand feet of water, and let her go. And once you feel a weird little bite, because on the squid like the one we just got, they got these little tentacles and they actually shoot the tentacles out they'll grab the lure and then you got to wait for a second because they kind of feel it out and then you'll feel the rod just like dip right down and that's them pulling them in and when you get that second bite that's when you do the jig and that's when you know you got one because you got to hang on and just start cranking that's what you want lots of line like there's almost 2,000 feet of line on this rod and as you can tell we're out in the middle of nowhere there's actually no particular place really to go, just go find this place that's nice and deep, just start fishing. Yeah, you just never know where you get them either. Have you cooked them yet? Oh yeah, oh they're so good. Yeah, I just, I can, uh, there's a whole bunch of ways you can do them. You can fry them up, like I tried it, I fried it butter, oil, olive oil, uh, uh, just any kind of oil, it works all the same. And then, and then I did it in, uh, Actually, what I found was actually really good is in an air fryer. Now, an air fryer, that's completely different. You put a batter on it or anything? Nothing, no. Just straight from the ocean, cut it up in little pieces, put it in the fridge, let it sit overnight. Because the squid is kind of, they curl up. Because the mantles are about this thick on these squid. So, like the mantles and the legs, and you don't have to worry about the uh, cooking. When you cook up the legs, all the little horns and whatnot on the legs, they'll just fall right off. Yeah, and you can eat them, just eat them up. So you just, it's good because it's a little, it's flat, but it's a little choppy, or not choppy, but you can see the tip of the rod, like the rod's doing the little bend thing, and all of a sudden the rod will just stop, and it'll stay bent, no matter whether the boat goes up or down. And then, yeah, you're, you got one on. But you have to actually wait because it's patience, because when they grab a hold, they'll grab a hold and they have their little feelers and they'll wiggle it around and then they'll pull it in. That's when you get the, the hit. See Lee right now? There's something playing with it. Yeah. It's staying in one spot. When that drops down. So he's just kinda, he let, he let it go, but he's there. It's there. See how he's bouncing? But it'll quit bouncing for like that short little couple seconds. And 
every time you get a hit, drop it down a little bit further. Because once they bite, they actually bite from underneath. And then if they get hooked, they actually take off. Because squid can go just as fast forward as they can backwards. And these are actually red squid, or AKA Humboldt squid, but these are just a, a mini version of them. This is them at the baby stages. These guys are probably probably three years old. I thought we are gonna get the Kraken. <laughs> <laughs> we got the lures for it. The one that sinks boat down. I don't know if Captain's real uh, happy about that one. Oh, 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 no, you let go. Looks like the bigger lures work. I got another one, I got heavier gear, but to let you know, the lure I think is like 25 to 35 bucks, I'm not too sure. Oh, jeez, oh, I think I just lost, oh, I think I just lost it. <laughs> yep, I lost that thing. Ow, and they do hit, when they hit, they hit like hard. That almost ripped my rod out of my hand. <laughs> So you know the OceanWise program out of uh, Vancouver Aquarium evaluates the different seafood species to determine which ones are sustainably harvested and Humboldt squid are high on their list of very sustain sustainable. There's uh, a couple really big biomasses of them in the Pacific so I think the younger ones are in here and then the big ones go out deep and they travel all around the Pacific so they'll be and they just show up where they want to show up so they catch them off of Chile one year and off of BC the next but there's an awful lot of them out there. All right, there's one. Let's stand them out here. So I got one. Yeah. Oh, you must have lost. Oh yeah, you lost the other one. All right. So what I'm talking about? These are their darters. These two. He had. He had two, but one fell off by the looks of it. Oh, there he is. Covered. Okay. So on the squid, they have these two long ingrated ones right so these all have teeth they got hundreds and hundreds of little teeth in there and what happens is when your lure is sitting there jigging up and down they actually fire these two things out grab a hold of the lure and that's the initial eh on your rod like it's just a very lick like a, just a feather and you gotta wait because then they pull themselves to your lure and then they wrap it and that's when you jig that's why it's really you gotta be patient. As soon as you feel that jig, if you rip it, you'll pop them on here, and these legs actually just, they actually won't hold their own weight. They'll just fall right off. Down, oh, by one leg. Nice. Oh, by one leg. <laughs> <laughs> right on, right on. Nice squid. Yeah, nice squid. PC squid. squid. Yeah. Let's see it for size there. Ah. <laughs> At least it's not that was just water. <laughs> and you got three in the boat. Nice. One more, and we all get dinner. <laughs> oh. You got one. Oh, oh. Spit on. It's very good. Oh, and I got that on you. I'm gonna put that right in here. Yeah, I'm, I'm aiming for it. <laughs> Don't let them break the surface. Here he comes. You hear the rod change, the real change sound. The net's not quite as long. That's why I let him back up. Well, the tide's going that way, so we're dragging it. Here he comes. Hey. Woohoo! My first squid! There you go, buddy! Hey, ha. <laughs> Do you kiss these things like salmon? <laughs> you wanna lose your lips? <laughs> well, thank you very much, Steve, for no. teaching me how to do that. No problem! Uh, that's, that's a good one. That's, awesome. that's a nice one. It's quite a bit bigger than the one Steve we were catching. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's the way you jig. <laughs> it's the way you roll. Here, let's line up. Let's line up. All right. Now. See, that time, yeah, probably wouldn't have got him if we didn't have the bottom hook. Whoa, there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> he got excited. 
<laughs> the camera got that too, I think. Did it? <laughs> nice. I almost said something rude there too. God, nice. It sounds familiar to me. <laughs> Here's go. Thank you for watching this episode. We like to bring you events that happened in the past in order that they may be able to help you have a better fishing experience in the future. Until next week, this is Gary Cooper saying luck is an attitude.